Good morning students. In this video, we are going to see an other two methods to collect primary data. As two methods we have already covered, that is one is uh, direct personal investigation and the second was indirect oral investigation. So the third uh, method to collect primary data is information from local correspondence, right? What is information from local correspondence? Under this system, local persons are appointed in different parts of the areas to be investigated. They collect information in their own way and present it to investigator. Uh, one simple example of this is the how news channels they are working in India or everywhere in the world and how these newspapers are working. Now what happens, for example, if we talk about Ajdak, Ajdak has appointed different journalists or different press reporters at different areas. In Faguara, they have appointed someone else. In Jalanda, they have appointed someone else. In Ludhiana, in Bihar, Patna. So at different places, the people have appointed their press reporters. So what the people used to do, they collect the information from different places. For example, today if they want to show that how much rain is there in India, so what they will do, the different press reporters at different areas, they will collect the news regarding the rain and then they will send it back to Ajtak channel. Then Ajtak channel will combine all the data sent by the press reporters and then they will present the news uh, to the people. And even the newspapers, they also work in the same manner only, right? So um, different channels, they have appointed different people at different places. So at different places, whatever the data they are being collecting, so they send it back to the main investigator and investigator collects the data about the different parts uh, of a country or different parts of a state. So if you can see, this is very much easy. One more example I will give you uh, that sometimes the government in order to do census, census you are knowing that last was being done in 2011. So every 10 years, the government of India uh, done the census in India. So in order to do that, now this happens for whole India. And uh, we know that India is a very large country. So whatever the teachers are there working in primary schools or government schools, uh, government give the same duty to collect the data regarding the population, how many family members are there, how many male females are there, how many educated, how many uneducated people are there. So different data is being collected by the different teachers, those who are teaching in different localities. So this is also information from local correspondence. Then the teachers collect the data from the different areas and then they send it back to at block level. At block level the data is being collected then send it to the district level. Then from district level it is state level data is being collected. So this is the way by which we can collect the information from a very large area. So if you will see the merits. Uh, it is having a wide coverage as I told you that different people you have appointed already pointed at different localities. So even you can collect the data. For example, if I want to know about the rain, right, um, nearby areas of Faguara, near Jalandar, Ludhiana and so on. So what I can do, I can tell you people, where you, wherever you are sitting, just tell me what is the situation of rain in your area. So you can just send me the information through WhatsApp or through calls. So what I will do, I will just collect the data. So wide coverage can be done. I need not to go anywhere to the other areas. Then this is inexpensive, right? Because you are not visiting place to place. You are hiring the people, those who are living in the same localities only. So that is why you need not to spend the money. Information can be collected online from the other people. Then regular information can be collected. Uh, you need the information for morning. Even then the people provide you the information about morning. You need the information regarding afternoon rain. So they will provide you the information because they are not visiting anywhere. They are uh, residing in the same locality only. They are working in the same locality only. And from the same locality, regular information can be obtained. Then suitable for special purpose. So if we want to collect the data for any special purpose, this is the best method to collect the information. Then if we will see demerits, there will be lack of accuracy. Why it will be lack of accuracy? Because different people, they will be sending you the data and you will not be sure that how honestly the people are working. If they are not working honestly, they are just uh, fulfilling their job only. They are just trying to send you the data uh, without cross-checking it. So this will be lack of accuracy. Then there will be no originality. Why there will be no originality? Because you yourself uh, are not collecting the data. 
someone else is collecting the data and then send it back to you so that is why this data will not be original then biased this data will be biased why this data will be biased because any of the person if the person is not collecting the data in a neutral way then whatever the information you will get it that will be biased only then fourth point it will be time consuming why it will be time consuming because you have to depend upon other people other people to collect the data sometimes there can be network issues sometimes there can be other issues right so person if the person is not able to send back you the data so it is going to be quite time consuming then there is there is lack of uniformity lack of uniformity means data will not be uniform uh, there will be um, unsimilar data why there will be unsimilar data because different people are collecting it and different people will collect it in their own respective ways so there are chances that the data will not be uniform now uh, let's see the other method and the other method is telephonic interviews so telephonic interviews is quite simple method uh, in telephonic interviews you people can call the correspondents uh, you can call the people from whom you want to collect the data and when you will call them you will ask them the questions and then what will happen you can collect the required data so if we will see if we will see the merits and demerits of telephonic interviews the merits are this data is quite economical how this data is economical because it will save your time also and it will save your money also on phone uh, you have to incur very less amount of money right and you can approach many people right so this method is economical when you will call the person on telephone and then you will collect the data then second merit is wide coverage of course you can call any person sitting abroad also you can call any person uh, living in an other part uh, uh, southern part or any other parts of the country so wide coverage can be done and the third merit is high response rate so whatever the response we will get through the same that will be high why because on the phone when you will call some person there are the chances that the people they will be answering you right rather than you are sending a form to them and maybe they will not be reluctant to fill the same form so but when you will call them there are some chances of high response rate demerits demerits are limited use you can use this telephonic method only to limited areas where you can use it only with the people those who are having telephone connections now in india the large part of the people they still don't have telephone connections so that is why it is having of limited use then second is reactions cannot be observed on telephone you cannot see the reaction of the person if the person is uh, one example person is sitting in front of you you can judge that the person is lying to you or the person is telling you the truth but over the phone you cannot judge the reactions of the person then the third thing is third d merit is it is going to be biased maybe uh, through telephonic interview you will call the people only whom you are knowing that they are relevant to your study so you are not going to add all the people as all the people will not be having telephones and you will be willingly calling the people only those who are knowing that they will give you the good response and they will give you the favorable response only so that is why this data will be biased then suitability uh, this method is suitable where respondents are willing to answer so if the people on call they are willing to answer you only then this method is suitable then short duration uh, you need any data quickly so the best method is you will call different people you will record the data so if you require the data in a very short time period then this is the best method telephonic interview method then the third point of suitability is respondents have telephone connections so this is the method you can apply when the people from whom you want to collect the data they are having appropriate telephone connections or if telephone connections will not be there then you will not be able to collect the data from all the people so this is all for today tomorrow we will do the last method to find out primary data and then we will do the methods to find out secondary data also thank you